Hello everybody and welcome once again to All The Fabric 3. Today we are going to do some more industrial revolution. I haven't been doing this for quite a while because we've got most of the bits done, but we haven't done the modular armor or the gamer axe. So let's get started. So I've got the book here, as you can see, and it's opened at the right page for modular armor. So basically it says it doesn't do much until you install modules in it. So color modules are only available from dungeons or chests found in dungeons, which we've got a few as it happens. Module levels can be configured in the way you want. Uh, going into the controls menu and adding a keybind to module item configuration. All right, we're not going to do that just yet. First of all, we need to do the first bits. So what we need basically are these core of modularities, charged cores of modularities. Um, and then you can build the, the different components. The rest of it's fairly straightforward. Steel leggings, steel helmets, steel boots. Uh, in fact, it looks like the recipes are all identical except for the bit in the middle changes for the item you want. And then you get these modular boots. So the next page on this page tells you about the modular workbench, which we've already built because we needed that for something else. So let's go and have a look at this core of modularity because this is the one that's actually tough, especially for uh, Industrial Revolution. So it's an un you have to make an uncharged capsule like this. So it's basically uncharged and you need three enriched nickelite ingots and two Mark IV circuits. Of course, that's not such a big problem for us nowadays. And then we need to put this into a capsule. So that it says it holds your um, uh, core modular during the process of activation and it will emit a redstone signal when finished. Okay, fine. A laser emitters. Okay, yes, yeah, so that's right. So we need a laser emitters should be placed facing the capsule exactly three blocks distance. And that's very important. Three blocks is really important. They should, they need, they can store up to 2.5 million LF and require a redstone signal to be toggled on. So that's, so that's actually quite good too. In fact, what we can do, so I haven't done much redstone for this, but I've set it up a bit. So the, process takes time but goes faster for each laser emitting uh, active for each laser emitting active that's a bit strange you must pay attention to the details and avoid the problems the laser the pointing the laser to something other than the capsule or an empty capsule will result in an explosion so you've got to Put it, uh, point it to an ex a capsule of some description okay if the laser emitters run out of power during the process all of the process will be lost. That's very important to remember that. Make sure you turn off the laser emitters before re retrieving the active core. Okay, that's not such a big deal. You can do that. We could actually do most of this with redstone as it happens since it emits a redstone signal. We'll have a look at that in a second. Um, so let's get started with this. I've got here the some bits and pieces. Actually, this one here is just a, an energy reader. We'll take that. It's very straightforward. It's just a tin plate, copper plate, tin plate, and a Mark One circuit. You can do most of this without having to use the energy emitter because the one pro or the equivalent to the one pro shows you that yeah and so the capsules are made out of lead plates glass and tungsten plates so you've got two tungsten plates at the top two lead plates and uh four glass that makes a capsule i'll take it i don't probably need one because we've already got one and then we need to make these core modularities i've already got two made up here because i was doing just checking how it worked uh, so I've got another two. We need four, of course, one for each piece of armor. And the last one here is the gamer axe. So this one is a netherite axe surrounded by steel plates, three of those, uh, one battery, two Mark IV circuits, and two enriched nickel ingots. So we'll take one of these. I'm not exactly sure what we do with that just yet, but we'll have a look at it, maybe, this hope. Not an FRGB, okay. <laughs> I don't know what that means. But I have set it up over here. Um, as you can see, we've got a little bit of stuff set up here. I've got four laser emitters, and these are three blocks away from here. So we just, I've got some, um, I've got three slam blocks. So let's just check what that actually means. So we put the slam blocks down here. One, two, three. So they've got to be three blocks. So it's actually the fourth block, as you can see. So that's not, oops, it didn't work. That worked. So they're pointing at this here, and I've got a redstone signal going all the way around each one of these blocks here like this. Connect to a switch, a lever here, so which basically will turn them on. Here I've got three solar generators. Now solar generators, I think, are probably the most power, one of the most powerful uh, 
generated in Industrial Revolution. In fact, the Industrial Revolution generators are not very powerful, and certainly not powerful enough to do this without waiting an awful long time. But you can make these leather-like flux containers Mark IV, and these one, each one of these holds 10 million. So we've got to charge this core of modularity up to 100 million. So I've got 12 of these, plus the 2.5 times 4 here. So I've got 13, um, 1.3 million. So that should be more than enough. On the back of these, I've actually put a, an energy, a plasma generator, <laughs> surprisingly enough. So this has got enough power in for, well, actually not quite enough power. I'll have to get some more plasma for the next one. So those are going to power this up, but it still takes a long time. So let's put into here, oops, not that one. Let's put into here one of these cores. Like that, just right click it in that one. And then we can come over here and come and switch the switch on. Have I got any redstone with me? Just have a quick look, I forgot some redstone. I need a, a block of a, a redstone dust of some description. I might have a redstone in here, I've got seven. Let's just break one of these. I can do that easily enough. Get some redstone dust. Put it down and use the, what do we get, a six, fine. So what we can do is put, it says it emits redstone signal here, now, the one problem is if I put it down here, it will break the block, which is a bit awkward. So maybe we can put one on top of it like this. And then we can see if it emits the redstone signal when it's done. Okay, let's start this up and get to see what happens. So you can see all of these here are pointing into this and starting to charge it up. So here you can see that the, these flux containers are reducing their storage slowly, like that. Uh, and of course the generator, the solar generator should be generating some power to replace what's being consumed. That's fine. Um, as this one hasn't been consumed at all, but the red bars underneath, you can see this red bar here and it's going down slightly. Uh, when it's, if we go and look from the back, maybe it's easier to see. No, we can't see the middle one, but you can see them from here. So it's consuming the one on the right hand side in this particular case. In this case, it's consuming the one in the middle. Um, and this one also in the middle so it's fairly random as to where it takes the, the power from I'll come back to the switch because as soon as it's done I want to turn it off because we don't want it doing any more than what we need to so it's probably going to be a bit awkward to take that redstone signal out of here and bring it back into the switch to switch things on and off which we could do, it would be quite nice to do that I'll have to think of a way of doing it <laughs> We'll have to take it up a bit. Maybe there's something, but you can't put anything down in the in line of here. It'll just break it straight away. So I don't know how much it's done yet. So we'll look. Capsule doesn't tell me a thing about the capsule, but we just have to wait and see what happens. But let's have a look while we've got the energy meter in here. Reader. Let's have a look. I have not used this thing because we've just made it. So does that tell me anything? If I right click this one here, flux container tells me. Um, Well, that tells me how much power that's got in, but I'm not sure how this one works. Do I have to right click it? Oh, that tells me the redstone power there. I could see that highlighting. And this one, oops. <clears throat> I didn't mean to do that. All right, it's turned off the power and <laughs> broken everything. <laughs> not funny. <laughs> I didn't expect it to do that. I will be honest with you. And so now I've lost the capsule, the redstone and all the rest of it. Okay, I'll be back in a second after I've repaired this. See you in a second. So, I'm back again and it's starting again. So let's see if this finishes time. I'm not going to touch it, not going near it this time. We'll leave it alone. <laughs> it won't take too long. In fact, I think it probably takes two or three minutes. Maybe I have probably a good idea if I come back when it's finished. So we'll do that. So there it is. So let's just turn this off straight away. So nothing needs to be done. And we've got our first core of modularity, which has been charged up. Fantastic. Let's take that out of there. As you can see now, this has got its redstone signal on. Mm, it should probably, but maybe it's easier to take it out underneath it and just draw it across into point, maybe point it across here. Uh, and then we could do a reverse, a knot, couldn't we? And then that would automatically turn off when it's finished. So anyway, let's have a look at this now. I'll set that up for next episode because it, it took around about three minutes to charge up.
with four um, emitters. Now you could use six emitters on the top and bottom as well. The next thing we need to do something with this. So we, I think we've got the, oh no, this isn't the one we need. Let's have a look how we actually make this up. So the next thing is we need some steel bits and pieces. So what I'll do is I'll set up a recipe uh, to do to do any one of these particular armor pieces that we need. So I've got a recipe for the gamer axe. Let's set up a, a recipe for some of the armor. So let's have a look at the uses of the core of modularity, and we should be able to do it because they're all the same. So we can just set up one of these recipes. Doesn't matter which one we set up, like that. And I'm going to change this to a processing recipe. Um, no, sorry, let's just go back to it. that one. Select it, and then we just change this to a processing recipe and remove the boots, like that. And then we can update this. So we've got a, a recipe for modular boots without actually having anything in it. Let's go along here and put it into one of these. And maybe I've got some space in one. I have, yes, good. So now we can see if we can actually craft the modular boots and it'll produce the bits that we need into that, into that without the main piece. So let's have a look at this boots. And we can craft, actually I would like to craft four of these. We can only do three at the moment, one at the moment, because we've only got one core of modularity. So we need to put that inside here and then craft these up. So we've got all the bits that we need around here so we can just simply start this going like this. Uh, and the other thing we needed to make was some steel leggings, wasn't it? Or oh, steel boots. I think we'll start with the chest plate. So let's have a look at the steel. Have I got any steel here? I should have some steel. No, let's craft up some plates. I'm pretty sure it's made out of plates. We'll have a quick look though. Maybe it's not. Maybe it's out of ing ingots. Uses of an ingot. Ah, yes. So we can craft one of these. We need nine. We will need 24 steel ingots. Let's craft up 24. Like that and let it run. There is one problem uh, with the processing from uh, applied energy sticks, and that is in here. If these, I've set this up not to split up uh, stacks, but what happens sometimes is that this is also set up here not to, to, um, to block recipes. Do not push, but it doesn't work. So that's a shame. So I can't split it up. Sometimes you have to go along and manually move stuff around for the particular recipe that you need. So now we've got the bits, we can actually craft up the, the armor. So let's do the chest plate. Um, now I should be able to see a steel chest plate in here like that. So we can simply craft one of these into that. Then we've got our steel chest plate. Um, have a look over here, see how it's doing. It's got all the bits, it's, got, it's out here, so we've probably got all the bits we need, great. Let's craft those out of there and then cancel this recipe. So we don't need that recipe anymore. And then come along and let's just craft it up. I'm, I'm pretty sure this is just a crafting recipe. So we'll do the uses of the dual plate like this. Yes, it is. So we could now get our modular chest plate. Which is great. So what we now need to do with this modular chest plate is to put stuff into it. By the way, these are recipes that I was using for the core of modularity um, and the capsule. Was I didn't lose the capsule, that was still there. And so was the, the core. It didn't get destroyed when I removed it, which is not surprising really. Um, so let's come along. Oh, actually, let's put those into here somewhere. Um, assembler. Probably got some space as I was using this hill. I've got these two down here. So that one's probably the core, and this will be the capsule. So that makes sense to put those there, doesn't it? Right, so if I need any more, I can craft those up. So the next thing we need to do is to craft up the, the modules that we've got in here. So I probably have to make a new recipe for this. Again, this would have to be a processing recipe. So this one is protection. So you can see here, if I write, if I says if I shift left click it, it will tell you. So we can put three of these into each piece. Uh, so so therefore we'd need twelve to get maximum of those. Uh, so we need sixty steel plates. I thought I made some steel plates, but they probably got consumed. And four mark four circuits. Let's see if we can actually cre create the recipe for that um, steel plates. I've got sixty steel plates already made. Good. <laughs> uh, it's funny, I don't see them coming up here now, but I did see them. We can take those out of here like this. And we also needed Mark IV circuits, didn't we? So we need 12 Mark IV circuits. 
Hopefully we've got enough resources for doing that. I haven't checked, obviously not. No, we don't. We don't have enough nickelite dust or enough diamonds. What else are we short of? Nickelite dust is probably not such a big problem. I've got quite a bit of nickelite um, in one of these chests here, I think. Oh, no, it won't be in this one. Have we got any nickelite dust in there? 60, good, that's enough. And diamonds... I should have diamonds around somewhere about. If I haven't, I've got them in my uh, bag here. In fact, I'm pretty sure I've got them in the bag. Change the bag mode and get the diamond ore out. I've actually got plenty of nickelite ore. Um, what's the uses of this, but because I've forgotten. Is it in the pulverizer? Oh, we can, so we can pulverize it to seven or macerate it to seven. Okay, so I'll just put it in the pulverizer. Just take a stack of that out, whereas if it's gone to, we need a stack of diamonds to take those out and take out the nickelite ore. I can't see it again. Oh, there it is. So we can just simply put this through the pulverizer, and I'm pretty sure I've got a pulverizer here. I have a look. No, the chest won't be for that one, it'll be for something else. So let's put those into there to make the dust. And the diamonds we'll just simply put into the um, this one, into the industrial grinder. Pretty sure that's the best uses, one of the best uses for the ore in the industrial grinder. Oh, yes. With water. Oh, I get twice as many with diamonds. Um, coal dust. I'll just do the diamond. I'll just do put them in here for the time being because it doesn't really matter that much. We've got plenty. Right, I shall be back in a minute when everything's ready. See you in a second. So this time we've got everything that we need, so let's get that started. And then we can simply craft up the the rest of the bits, which is, shouldn't be too difficult. They go into here. I'm pretty sure they go into here. And I think that we have to just select protection. Um, I hope it's this way around. Here we go. This protection module here. And it makes the pattern that we need to do, which is great. Um, as far as I know, this doesn't need any power. So we just simply put everything into it. So let's do this. Let's get the steel plates in here. I should be able to go around like this. Huh. Oh, you can only do one at a time. Oh, fantastic. <laughs> let's go and get some Mark IV circuits. Maybe they're already paired. Nope, none of them are ready yet. So what I was saying before, there might be a problem over here. It, it looks like it's running. Oh, yes, you see it's gone a bit strange. Um, oh, maybe it's okay. But we've got more diamonds here than we, than we should have. And I'm not sure why we should have. These should be making nickelite dust. You see what I mean anyway? There's a slight problem. And that's got two diamonds too few. But I'm not sure what's going to happen. In fact, we actually used the diamond dust that I made from the from uh, grinding up that. It was quite handy as well. So let's have a look at that. Okay, so that's busy doing this. Let's go back up here and have a quick look at let's see how far these things have been charged up again. Because if, if they've been charged up enough, and they look like they have, this is 10, 10 million, 10 million, 10 million, good. I can get the next one of these core modularity started. That was eight points. That's enough anyway, it doesn't matter. And in here we should have the plasma generator is still generating good. It is. Uh, I just got some more plasma and put it in. So let's just put another core into here. Like that. And that goes off. So what we can actually do is I'll set this up and I'll be back in a second. Right, so I've set up some redstone to go underneath here like this. Come across to this block. On the other side of this block, I've got a redstone torch, which is off. And then we can connect it up. So if I just come along here now and put the core of modularity back on charge one, back into here, it should go on. Let's have a look. I want to be further enough away to make sure I don't get zapped. So I think I can reach it from here. No, I can't. Let's do it there. There we go. That's gone off. So this one should now be on. It is, but I've not got any signal coming out of here. Can, am I missing a piece of redstone dust? shouldn't need to put a piece of redstone dust down here because it's in the same block space won't work will it I'll tell you what i'll just move this back one and come back in a second so this should work <laughs> i'm saying should i just tested it and i don't think it works let's put this down here like that so that's now pointing into here so when this we put a capsule in here this should turn itself on mm. 
I'm a bit worried about this, might not work. <laughs> um, yeah, I'll just break, I'll just have to break the, the redstone just here if I, if I have a problem. So let's just try it. Oh yes, it's working this time, fantastic. <laughs> Last time it actually blew up and I don't know why. So there we go. So as you can see, this is now turned on with this redstone signal. So as soon as it's charged, it should emit a redstone signal at the bottom and we should turn off. So while that's doing that, let's go and make up the armor because that's going to take three minutes anyway. So let's just fly away from it. If I hear any big bangs, then well, that's my tough luck. <laughs> so to speak so now we can make this armor up here we've got oh i've got it set up in here haven't i yes i have so we need to put in the circuit in here like that and then it's going to start making these uh protection modules as you can see no power it just does it slowly uh doesn't take that long as it happens and then we should have our first one of these and we can probably make it again I guess so there's quite a few of these modules while we're having a look at this let's have a look at what other ones we've got available so for example here we have a speed module which is for the leggings as you would expect a jump boot uh, a jump boost module for the um, boots here's a night vision module for the helmet which is always I like one breathing modules we've got that one as well feather falling module for the boots maximum to be installed is one okay full damage is negated by the cost of energy okay fine auto feeding module that's also a nice one to have in the helmet I, but we don't possibly need that one maybe we do chest plate is the charging module recharges items in your inventory uh, solar panel that was probably a good one too to put in there we'll do that one some stage pickling tick, trick tickler module what does that one do Tickles piglins into thinking you're wearing gold. Okay, very good. <laughs> a fire resistance module. Uh, that's also a handy one, of course, for lava, etc. A range module increases the range of blocks your drill can. Okay, that must be for the for the gamer axe. Efficiency module again. Oh, in fact, it does actually say mine. Oh no, it says here mining drill. This wasn't. It's for the gamer axe. Um, also, I haven't built the mining drill have we so we'll maybe have a look at silk touch module gamer access looting module fire aspect that sets things on fire i guess sharpness module also increases the damage into five and then you've got color modules so we can put those in the armor we've got some of those so i think we've probably got all of the ones that you can get black brown and then we've got the modules in here um another reactor core legging oh that's a different module <laughs> sorry that's something completely different don't need to worry about that one so let's go back up here now and have a look at how this is going on it's still still progressing so this one should have finished so we can take this out i won't do any more of these on camera of course it doesn't make sense um bah, 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 bah. what happened to it <laughs> i don't see what uh this isn't going to be one of those things which is takes your items away when you've not taken it out very strange if it does that. I wouldn't be happy doing it that. So I have to just wait in this case. So I'll wait and we'll take it out manually when it's finished. Maybe it gives us two. I just don't know what's going to happen. Anyway, it looks doesn't look too bad. In fact, I've got a feeling that there we Oh! It disappeared. Where did it disappear to? It says it's here. Protection module. Well, that's weird. I'm not sure what's going on there. I'll have to look into that. Anyway, let's have a look up here again. So how I'm not sure how far this has got to be charged up, but we shall stand over here and we will be prepared to break the redstone as soon as it, if it fails to turn itself off when we get this thing on here like this. And then we should be able to remove it. But I think for safety, so what I'll do is I'll break the redstone on this particular block here. I'll see you in a few seconds. And as you see, it turned off automatically as soon as it finished, which is great. So we should now be able to collect this. And as soon as I collect this, it should stay off. But to be safe, let's just remove this one piece of redstone dust here. So let's take this one out of here like that and then come right click this and we've got the charge module and it didn't go back on again so it's safe to use that way um we have to wait a little bit for these things to charge up maybe we could get away with it um 
We'll try. Let's put this redstone dust back into here and then do the next one. Like that. Come along here. Feeling a bit more confident this time, so we'll just try it. Sure enough, that's gone on. I'm not sure we'll come back, leave that. Because, of course, these uh, all of these generators are working all the time anyway, so that's fine. So let's come back over here. I've got a feeling, I wonder what we have to do for this armor. So we've got this modular workbench in here, so, and I've got the chest plate. Do I have to just put the chest plate in here like this? Insert the die. No. Oh, yes, okay. Ah, I wonder if I have to do this first. I'm just a little bit uncertain. Let me try, we'll try one more of these. It's a few resources I lost, but hopefully it, I would expect it to be created here and not disappear. I'm a bit puzzled as to what's going on. I don't think it's good. Oh, ah, it's emitting them to the, into this module. Oh, okay, didn't show up a second ago, fine. So we can take these two out of here and then we can put those into the chest plate. So we can simply put these into the chest plate in here like this, I guess. Cannot be installed. Um, why? <laughs> oh, it's got no power, that's why. So it does need power. I tell you what, I'll just go and get some power for this. Um, it says battery, doesn't it? So maybe we'll just make a battery and charge it up. Okay, I'll do that and be back in a second. Very simple. Let's just, I just put a generator down here. And this is um, a teleport generator, so it can use Ender Pearls uh, and actually provide power to this now. So there we go. So maybe we can actually do it this time. Um, I see my chest plate in here, or is it in one of these now? I've got the new protection module, which doesn't show up, but it is in here. Oh, yes, it's, you can see actually. So does it, does it work this time? Installing, fantastic. So it does work, it does need power for them to install the module, but it doesn't need power to actually make the module. Interesting. I'm not sure that's correct. I would expect it to do the, to do the way around. So we've got three of these now. So this is going to take a little bit of time, as you can see. Um, while it's doing that, it would probably send it out on the right. It's either going to leave it here or send it out. Because they didn't show up in here when I made those. That's interesting. It's a bit of unluck, I suppose, when I put it in a, in a strange place. Where, have we got, where are we? So these are busily cooking away here, as you can see. The generate, it should be okay. We, sh we shouldn't lose the, the whole charge that we've got in here. Um, because of course the plasma generators are generating at the same time, it's night time. I should be back in a second. Well, this is installed, as you can see. Module installed protection one. So now we should be able to put this on. Let's have a look, let's put it on and see what it looks like. So if I take off the existing armor that I've got and put this into place, it just looks like I take off the other armor as well. Maybe get a better chance of seeing it better, and also take out the the scarf and the and the other bits. Actually, I'll take out no space. Sorry, I can't do that. So we'll look again. Uh, and if I well, ah, this is, looks not too bad as it happens. Yeah, I quite like that. Anyway, next time. We will be carrying on with this and finish. I'll prepare all the modules and all the cores until then, and we can actually start to do some stuff with this. So until then, I wish you all the best. Bye for now.